Hey guys, it's Reverse 91 and I'm just bringing you an analysis on the recent Steven Universe Bomb promo. Now, I'm not saying any theories right now. What I plan on doing is later on taking certain parts of the video and making my own theories based on just those certain parts, not on the promo as a whole. So without further ado, let's get on to this promo. We start off with Connie and Steven just hanging out, having a regular day, and let's face it, you know this is set up for bad. This is what happens. You always like that part. And especially how Steven says it. It's, it's almost like they're telling us. Like he says something like, it's good to have days like these. And you just know that's going to end badly. Or end with something big happening. One or the other. It's never just going to be a peaceful day. Anyway, moving on. We have Sadie and Steven. I, I think coming after a party because one of the episode description said that Steven, Sadie, and I think Lars got invited to a, a cool kid party. And then you hear Sadie didn't come home that night, which kind of is good because let's say Sadie and Lars and them, they're really side characters. They're not used too often. So this is a little weird starting off with like Sadie getting kidnapped, supposedly. And to add to that fact, they have these scenes of Beach City where every, everything is like empty. And I know it just seems like they're just showing the town, but what I think he's actually doing here is it's showing that like nobody's there. I mean, we see later that Onion is missing, which I love that the photo says wanted first because let's face it, this is Onion. So it's great that it said wanted and someone's like, no, 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 not wanted, missing. So, and then we see these butterfly thing and this big guy, I'm assuming, like behind Onion. We don't know what's gonna happen there. I don't know, for all, for all we know really, that could be Mr. Smiley and some girl wearing a costume or something like that. But I'm just saying that we don't really know if this has to do with Onion's kit, kit missing. We don't know. It could. It could not. And we got Garnet about to punch something, it looks like. Okay, nothing to report there. Now, this scene is actually very interesting because it shows Steven hiding and Connie protecting him. Now, Connie protecting him makes sense. She's, let's face it, she's the sword, he's the shield. But since when does Steven hide? So what is he hiding from? This really, it's really big because if they were just fighting something, okay, that'd just be another Thursday for them, basically. But he's hiding? Steven doesn't hide. So whatever this thing is, it's something that, it's obviously freaking Connie out, and it's got Steven so scared, he's hiding, it seems like. That's what it seems like from the picture, at least. So I'm really interested to see what really happened here. It is also possible that Steven was, because we see him thrown back at one point, it's possible that he actually fell in the log at one point, and he actually is just poking his head out to see what's happening, and then he's about to come out and help her fight. It is possible. Many possibilities there. Okay, Pearl crying. So what else is new? Now, these last couple pictures I'm going to show, I'm gonna, these actually hint at something much bigger happening, even than the like kidnappings and stuff like that, because, you know, Pearl and Amethyst, they watch Steven go into this glowing door, and, you know, Pearl even's like, are you sure you know what you're doing, something like that? And the tension is just so real. And then, you know, Stephen looks back, smiles, thumbs up. So it's a pretty cool scene, actually. So where is he going? What's he doing? Why does he have to do it alone? I think this has to do with his whole mom thing, because there's actually an episode called I Am My Mom. And I think it really is something that only someone with the rose quartz could have done, whatever it is. So I think that He's probably going to finally finish something that maybe his mom started, or maybe, who knows, maybe, maybe fix his own mistakes. Because the episode description does say something about Stephen fixing his mistakes. So we don't know, but I think he has to go somewhere alone, something that he can be alone. And then he says, she wouldn't want this, but I do. Now that line, to me, is very important. Why? Because it tells me that Stephen may be finally realizing, because let's face it, from the beginning, he's kind of wanted to be like his mom. And he may be finally realizing that, you know what, I'm not my mom, and I have a different way of doing things. He may be looking at, back at his mom's mistakes and realizing that he has to do things differently to actually fix those errors that were left over. He can't just do what he thinks she would do. He has to do his own thing. And that's kind of, that, that would kind of be a turning point in Steven's life, I believe, because let's face it, up, up until he kind of discovered that Rose shattered Pink Diamond, he was basically having this picture-perfect vision of his mom. And then we have the dreaded ending where it says, are you my father? Now this is very key, right? But I just want to warn people that this could also be a trick. Let me say it this way. Um, sometimes in previews, 
you, you guys have all seen this, I'm sure, with movies and series. They like to throw something in that seems like it's going to be really important, but then it's very unimportant when you actually get to the movie. Um, one of the ones I remember was, as told by Ginger on Nickelodeon, they showed a preview for this special. And in the special, she said goodbye, Darren, with such definitiveness that it sounded like she was actually breaking up with Darren. But then you get to the actual special, and it turns out he's just going to football practice, and she's just saying goodbye because he's going to football practice. <laughs> And it's like, wow, that was a real big thing in the preview, but it meant missing nothing in the actual special. So it's like, this could be one of those things. Let's face it. I've never heard Onion's voice. That could be Onion asking the big guy behind him. I don't know. That could be someone else. That could just be a random... It, when it comes to the Steven Bomb, that could be a random girl, just or boy kid basically asking are you my father but there are a lot of possibilities here and i'm gonna go further into detail in my theory video so that's the trailer analyzed why don't you guys tell me if i missed anything in the comments below we'll have a nice discussion thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and may god bless you all